going to be doing something a little different today, something we've uh, we've not done before. If you've been following uh, Married with Grown Ups uh, since we started, almost six years to the day now, since we started it in 2016, uh, you'll know that obviously photography is a, is a passion of ours. It's the main driving force behind a lot of the things uh, that we do. Um, and in particular, we uh, we like Fujifilm. We've, uh, we've had a various... Uh, numbers of uh, camera bodies and lenses, etc. over the years. A couple of years ago, uh, we traded in our XF100 to 400 uh, lens uh, and bought another camera body uh, with, with the money, a couple of other bits and bobs as well. Got a really good deal on it. Um, and then COVID struck, we, everyone was in lockdown, didn't really get out that much for 18 months, two years to be, uh, to be briefly honest. Uh, but over the last 12 months, we've started to go out again, days out etc etc we've uh, begun to notice there's a bit of a gap in our armory when it comes to lenses and that is the uh, you know long lens the telephoto lens the zoom lens uh, which we used to use quite a bit not just for taking wildlife and, and other stuff like that we used to use it for landscapes and, and things like that as well uh, so we've been um, we've been wondering what what to do about it so you can imagine our delight 12 months ago uh, when Fuji announced they were going to release a new super zoom lens it was a, a 150 to 600 lens uh, which uh, which would fit the bill. Anyway, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting almost uh, ever since then for it to uh, finally hit the shops. Um, there's been a bit of a supply issue as there is with a lot of things these days, really. But uh, last week we spotted on Jessup's online that they actually had a stock in. So we immediately hit the buy button. Uh, and a couple of days later, I'm pleased to say, this turned up, uh, which is a brand new bought from the shops uh, XF 150 to 600 millimeter lens. Um, like I said, it's not a pre-production model. We've not had it given us or lent to us or anything like that. We bought that with our own money uh, because we, uh, we read Fujifilm stuff so highly. And like I said, there is a real, uh, there was a real gap in our lenses and our photography for, uh, for, uh, for this to fill. Got it on our XH1 body. Um, which is the one I primarily use. We've also got an XT4 body, uh, which Viv uh, tends to use as well. We've got it on that. Works absolutely superb. A lot of the reviews out there have uh, got it on the new, um, I'll try and get this in the right way, the X2HS. I think that's the right uh, right, right, uh, right order of numbers and letters there. Uh, and there's all sorts of new uh, focus um, apps and, and things you can use, different focus modes and one thing and another. Uh, which sound really good, but it works absolutely superb uh, well on this. I'm not going to do a full review, full technical review, I'm going to all the specs or anything like that. Just wanted to show it you um, and, and give some first impressions. We took it out yesterday and went to Martin Mayer, which is one of our favourite um, uh, favourite places for, for going and taking photographs. So we thought we'd give it a, a try on some wildlife. Got some really good shots. It wasn't the greatest uh, day, to be quite honest, photograph wise. Grey clouds really uh, dull at times or one thing or another so a real good challenge uh, of uh, of the lens in those sort of conditions and like i said we'll show some uh, shots on, on on this video uh, really really impressed and like i said can't wait to uh, really get to grips with it and, and get used but it was a first first run out um we both used it viv love using it um just struggled a little bit with the with the other lens um it was quite heavy um uh, but she she took like a, a duck to water, if you pardon the pun, uh, Martin here with this. One of the great things about it, and things I really like about this, is it's internal focusing. So you can see at the present moment in time, that's at 150, that's at 600. The length of the lens stays exactly the same, so you're not going to get this position where things suddenly start to, you know, centre of balance and centre of gravity starts to move around or whatever. Uh, it feels quite solid. It's a very nice um, finish to it as well. We're not quite sure what it actually looked like. It is reminiscent a little bit uh, of a Canon uh, L lens, but uh, like I said, it is Fuji through and through. Um, we need to sort the straps out. So this is a, a strap for the actual lens itself. There's a couple of lugs that you fasten it onto. Uh, and I've also got my, uh, my camera body straps on there, the Peak Design ones. Um, I nearly strangled myself a couple of times yesterday using it, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll, we'll get round to, uh, to that. Uh, I've got the... Um, the arc of foot on it as well, so you can put it onto a monopod or a tripod, uh, or like me and a number of other people, you can use it as a handy carrying handle as well, which 
is not what it's designed for but uh, you can make the most of it don't you so yeah looking really really good very impressed um obviously it comes with the um the hood uh so it's got the lens cap on it's an 82 uh, millimeter thread on that so if you wanted to put uh filters on the front that's the size you're looking for yeah it's got buttons preset uh focus uh, focal lengths all sort of things on it um which like i said i'm not doing a full technical review on it uh i just wanted to give first impressions let people have a look at it uh, and like I said, look at what it can do most importantly, because while it may look nice, um, the key thing is, what sort of photos does it take? I can guarantee you the, uh, the so far up to now, uh, and what you'll see coming up, uh, it takes some uh, pretty stunning shots as well. So that's it, that's our, our new uh, arrival, XF150 to 600mm lens uh, from, uh, from Fuji. Uh, like I said, looking forward to using it um over the next few months as we're out and about a little bit more we've got some holidays coming up as well in the, in the next couple of months so we'll be taking it out there and giving it a real good run for its money and look out like i said for the results uh on our social media channels and elsewhere finally if you're thinking about getting one and you've got one already we'd love to hear from you and find out what your thoughts are on it little tips little tricks things that you've used it for uh, please let us know if you want any um, ask any questions about it about some of the stuff we get up to again please just put it in the comments and we'll get around to them as quickly as we can be but that's it that just wraps it up um, like I said look out for some uh, shots of us actually using it in anger out in the field as it were uh, at Martin Mir and like I said hope you enjoyed uh, the photos we took with it we certainly enjoyed taking them and we look forward to, uh, to taking many many more in the future. Thank you.